Recently, I've been getting some good no-handed truck sedans, also known as no-handed 50-50s, and while I don't feel confident in my understanding to make a tutorial yet, I wanted to share the steps that were working for me to both learn and experiment with them, and then a few keys that really took me from no chance at a land to multiple lands in some of my sessions. After months of experimenting and practice, I found four solid steps to practicing the no-handed 50-50. For each step, I would recommend getting very comfortable first with just that step and then moving on to the next one, even if it takes you a few weeks for an individual step, I do think it's worth it. I don't recommend just jumping into them like I did, it's really not worth the bruises in the beginning. So step one is just a warm up, and it's nothing other than the handed truck stand. I like to work in threes for no reason whatsoever, so I'll warm up by doing three truck stands in a row. And then I'll move on to step two, the step up. This is basically a handed version of the no handed truck stand to break down the three main components of the trick. Here you can learn how to pull the board up to your hand while standing on the ground and experiment with your foot positioning. Where your front foot pins the board, where your back foot tips the board and steps up onto the truck, all of that good stuff. Then while holding onto the kick, you can bring your front foot up to the front bolts or nose to practice just sitting in no handed 50-50 and experiment with where you want that front foot to land. And notice that I try to drag my front foot up along the grip when I do this. This is key for this step to me, but I will explain why in the tips. Finally, you can practice the dismount. I recommend just focusing on dismounting by using the back foot to push down and roll the board forward. This tip is both Mike Osterman and Yuta Fuji approved. You do not need to use your front foot in this basic dismount. So if you think about it, both of your feet will tip down very quickly and come back up so that you can land on the grip tape. Step three is working on pulling the board up with your back foot and catching it with your front hand, but you do not want to leave your front foot on the ground anymore. You wanna get good at this, it is so important. I wish that I had practiced these before I ever started learning the no-handed 50-50s. They're great to add in a line anywhere, but they're also great to get used to the no-handed pull-up without giving your front foot a ton of bruises while you learn it. So you can just do this to practice the pull up and do a handed truck stand, or after you catch the board, you can place it on your front foot in order to practice the dismount as well. And step four is taking all of the skills from the first three steps and trying to remove your hands from the equation. It's finally attempting the trick in full. And once you can do all of these steps well, one thing I like doing is alternating in threes. Three truck stands, three step ups, three pull ups, and then three attempts. Otherwise, I will just drill attempts and I know that it doesn't always work, it just destroys my front foot. Now, there's no one way to do a trick, it all depends on your style and goals, so I'm just going to share a few keys that have been working for me and they might change or evolve as I get better at the trick, which is why this isn't a tutorial, but an in-between video that will hopefully share something that will help you too. One, I keep the board at a 30 to 45 degree angle from my shoulders. I also don't try to pull 100% straight up. When the board comes up too straight, I just end up doing these weird or awkward catches. And you might have noticed that pros often have them out at an angle or tweak them as well. I'm not sure what the best practices are, but I'd say if you can learn them at one angle, you can relearn them in another. Two, I try to lift the front foot up more than to the side. When you catch the board low, it's a lot harder to balance. So I've been trying to catch nice and high. And even after I filmed this, I started trying to really get my front foot to go all the way up to the nose for the catch and not stop at just the bolts. I find it much easier to balance the farther my front foot is up the board. The third thing I do is keep my front toes pointed up a little. This is just to get a good hold of the board when I'm in the no-handed 50-50, and then I let that front foot drop down for the dismount. Four, for my back foot, I bring it up and push down. I don't just push purely to the side as I find there's too much momentum in this direction. 
and the board ends up heavily pushing down on my front foot. Instead, I want to lift my front foot up to tip the board over and then step right up onto the truck so that my body weight is pushing down into the truck and not over across the board. A lot of amazing skaters recommend to keep your foot as close to the truck as possible. I've gone back and forth with this, but I always end up back here. Five, I don't jump. I've been calling it a step up for a reason. I used to try to jump up into this trick, but later changed my perspective to think of it as a tip and step up rather than jumping up and that made a huge difference for me. I'm not jumping onto the truck, I am stepping up onto it. Six, I do not catch the deck with my front foot. This is one of the biggest shifts that helped me both land the trick and reduce all the massive top foot bruises that I was getting. Instead of trying to tip and catch the board with my front foot, instead I try to slide my front foot up the grip tape. Keeping my foot as on the grip as possible allows me to reduce the impact of catching the nose and I feel like I stay better in control of the board when doing the no-handed 50-50, though it doesn't always work because I'm obviously still pretty novice at this trick. However, that mental shift made all the difference. It was the one change that helped me finally land this trick the first time. Seven, finding an ideal weight distribution is my biggest struggle right now. I can get into truck stand most tries, but I struggle getting the balance and positioning to stay over the board when I dismount. This is something I cannot wait to figure out. I realize that I fall behind the board too often, so I'm guessing that I need to keep my weight more forward, which is also why I've started holding my arm out in front of me to kind of counterbalance my desire to lean backwards, but I am getting there. And finally, number eight, go slow and gently. It might seem like an aggressive trick, but I find that the more I slow down and approach it with gentler movements, the better I do. A lot happens at the same time, but every time I try to rush through this trick, I fail. So that's just some food for thought. If you can, try to approach it a little more gently. And bonus tip, wear your thickest socks and shoes, wrap an extra sock around your foot if you can, and don't skip out on shin guards. This trick is a painful one to learn, but it's definitely worth it. <laughs>